Hopefully you can hear me. Um, my name is Ryan, I'm co-founder of Ultra, and I just want to say thank you everyone for the love. Go for a quick run right now. Halfway through the run, we're going to take a small break, and I'm going to get to talk a little bit about how we started Ultra. And before I do that, before we run, I just want to say thank you. Uh, 13 years ago, I'm going to cry already. I'm going to cry. We were three guys in the basement. 13 years ago um, and to see the, these athletes and to see all of you from around the world is just incredible so I just want to say thank you very very much for those one of the first retailers that talked about biomechanics to every single person that came in. So some of the things that we would teach people is we can practice this right now. So everyone raise, when you're running, how do you want to use your arms? Okay, so everyone raise their hand up high, as high as you can, and go back and forth. Okay? <laughs> now drop it and do it again. Which one's more efficient? This one. So when you're running, you don't need big arms, right? You want small, light, and quick, small, light, and quick, right? And we started talking about this. And all the industry thought we were crazy. We were selling, we were selling low profile neutral running shoes to all of our consumers when the entire industry was selling these big overbuilt pronation and stability shoes in the late 90s and 2000s. And so we would take people and watch them run and when they would run barefoot on grass, they ran great. And then we'd put them in these shoes and they wouldn't run as well. And so that's kind of what we were thinking about is, hey, how do we get the shoe industry to shift? And that's what led Golden Harper, my business partner, who helped me start the brand, um, put a shoe in a toaster oven, which you can still do this day. <laughs> you heat up the shoe until the glue bubbles. And once the glue starts bubbling, you can pull the shoe out and you can peel it out. You can do this, don't do it with ultras, do it with your other brands. <laughs> um, and you can peel off the outsole and the upper from the shoe. And what he started doing, and he called me up after he did it, he started putting, making them flat, okay? You take out the midsole, make them flat. We went from there to a, a, a bandsaw. So we used to bandsaw the shoes, belt sand the heel off, and glue it back together. And then what we would do is we'd skip all the laces on the front of the shoe. Our whole goal here was to get you more balanced with a lower heel height and more toe splay. Okay, so as we, as we started doing this, we started doing it for our customers. So we would sell people a brand new pair of shoes and then charge them $20 extra to go and hack off the heel to make them zero drop. So as you hear zero drop or drop in the industry, that was Runner's Corner at Gold, with Golden and I. And we started to try to convince the other shoe brands. We gave zero drop to, we want to start a shoe company. We were three guys in our 20s with no money, no money, right? And so what ended up happening is we thought, what, what if we got some money? What would it take to start a shoe company? And one thing led to another. And so in 2009, we just started to start a shoe company. And that's when we started Ultra. Now, Ultra is a Latin-based word, which means to change or to fix. Mm. And that's ultimately what Ultra's trying to do, right? We are trying to change an industry that was building overbuilt shoes and get them to get you in more natural alignment to help you run with better biomechanics, right? Instead of landing with a heel strike, with that chunky elevated heel that would weigh the shoe down and catch early, we're trying to get you to land more underneath your body, right? Taking that shock. So one thing led to another. We launched our, the brand in 2011. Better well known on the trail, our first shoe was a road shoe. But what's been fun is after that, shortly thereafter, we launched the Lone Peak, right? And what's great about trail runners, what I love about trail running, is that we're much more adventurous, right? Trail runners are much more open to try something new, try something different, go farther, right? And so we have become dominant on the trail. It's amazing to see last year, we were the third most used shoe brand at UTMB. Nice. In the United States, we're the second largest trail running brand um, in the United States at specialty retail. So it's really exciting. Um, so that's a really quick version of how we started Ultra. So we're gonna finish up the run. If you wanna ask me more questions on the run or after the run, I'm gonna happy to answer. But I'm really grateful. You'll see our logo is a distancing road, right? It's called the Journey logo. That's the actual name of the logo. So hopefully as you're running, you can run with a little better biomechanics, right? Light, quick arms, 
right? Don't over overextend that leg and run with run better. And that's really what ultra is about, right? Helping you run better, helping you run more naturally, getting your back um, aligned. I have severe back problems. If you want to see, this is weird and creepy, but you'll see I actually have scoliosis. So if you can see, I have a bit of a hunchback. So I have, my spine is crooked. So for me, being aligned and balanced is very, very, very important. And I've been able to, with, with severe scoliosis, I've been able to run um, you know, 45 ultra marathons in 13 different countries all around the world, including UTMB. So it hasn't stopped me. And so being aligned, running better and running healthier is super important to me. And it's just my life project. I'm so grateful for everyone to give ultra a chance. And um, let's continue our run. Ready? Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay, all to running Philippines. Hey! Yeah. Well, I can't wait to get out to the Philippines all sometimes. Right. <laughs> uh, from Chamonix, Brian, co-founder of Ultra. Thanks for all, all the right. support. <laughs> Woo.